Hi makeup friends, long time no film. Um, I updated you guys maybe last week on a bunch of things that were going on. Um, there has been a lot, uh, especially surrounding Christmas and the season and it's just been a lot. And going into 2017, I want to make um, my YouTube channel one of my main priorities. Um, it has been a priority for me before. But just a lot of things have been happening. I couldn't get a chance to film as much as I wanted to. And there was a point in time where every three or four days I would have a video ready for you guys. And that's how I want uh, to get back. So today I'm just going to share some products that I have been loving. Um, because I know that I have been missing for a while. And I always like to let you guys know what products um, I'm loving at the moment. I have two... Um, I have a dislike product in this video and I have a snack favorite. Um, so I just wanted to share with you guys. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Please let me know what you got, if you got any makeup goodies. Anything you want to let me know, please let me know down below. I haven't spoken to you guys in forever just because there have been so many things going on and you guys know how it goes. It just like just happens and there's nothing that you can do except take it in as it comes what what are, what are you gonna do you can't let life break you down you just go with the flow anyway so um i just dressed up today just to run a few errands to go to the mall to pick up some things i just wanted to get out of the house because i've been in the house for days upon days and I miss playing with my makeup and all of that. Hope you guys love my um my necklace. My best friend gave this to me as part of my gift for Christmas. I love, love, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Anyway, let me stop talking and get into the favorites. So the first product that I have been loving is this Freeman Feeling Beautiful Dead Sea Minerals Anti-Stress Mask. So I have a quite a number of these Freeman masks, but what happened is that sometimes when I do wear makeup for long periods of time, for instance, if I wear makeup for like a 12 hour day or even an eight hour day, which is kind of long for me to wear makeup, I when I cleanse my face and I take it off and I wash it and I all of that, I definitely go ahead and, and put this mask on. This one clears pores and smooths skin. Now this one is blue. Most of the time the Freeman masks that come in the tube, the, the mask is that color. This one, I swear, it just cleans out my pores and it really stops me from breaking out. If I wear makeup for a long time, and even if I try to clean my face as best as I can, I will always get one or two little breakouts. But when I put this on, I kind of get none. So I really, really like this mask. I do believe that it helps me to clean out my pores and get that last little bit of makeup out there. You can find this at any drugstore, I believe. I know Super Farm, I know Starlight Pharmacy, Pennywise, anywhere. I think these are readily available. They cost between $25 to $35 and there are tons and tons of these. And I do have quite a few, but I've been really, really loving this one. If you have large pores and you feel like you really need to clean out your face, definitely, definitely try this mask. So that was the first one. Then I have been absolutely loving this foundation i picked up this foundation um from sephora when i went on vacation last month this is a lancome tint idol ultra 24 hour makeup if i'm saying it wrong i'm not a frenchman i'm sorry please correct me if you know how to say it but this is the foundation i have been loving 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 this foundation i am wearing it today I find it matches me quite well and it really does last for a very long time. Um, I love the coverage. I love how it feels. It feels light. I love the shade. I just love everything about it and I have been reaching for this a ton. So much so that I feel like I need to kind of hide it from myself so that I can give my other foundations a try. But you guys, this is amazing. Um, I am not sure 
what local sellers you can get it from probably you can try like Belarus and if you know any other sellers that you've seen this selling please um, let us know in the comments so that others can uh, try to find sellers if they do want to get this I believe you can probably try um, Julin, which is in one Woodbrook place. They may have this. I'm not sure you can find them on Facebook and probably just call them to see but something like this I really don't like buying foundations online because I really need to get shade match because I'll get so Irritated if I have to spend this amount of money on a foundation and it doesn't match me So <laughs> I got this in store was match fit and it matches me perfectly. I love this foundation it is everything that people say and more comes with a pump it's just amazing I believe I paid about 42 US for this I'm not a hundred percent sure but damn I love this the next product that I have been loving is this hourglass mineral veil primer now this is a very expensive um brand and i just bought this little travel size also when i went to when i picked up that lancome foundation i just bought a little travel size to try it now this um primer does have spf in it so it may give you flashback i have never worn it at night time and taken pictures to really see it may give you a flashback because it has spf in it but i wear this during the day and i am a sweaty not sweaty i'm a oily greasy greasy mess but oh my goodness this is let this last forever this is really really good for oily skin I got the recommendation from another youtuber she's an Australian youtuber and she has incredibly oily skin and she raves and raves about this so I decided to try it now it does come with a little pump I believe this was 20 US and the large size is about $50 if I'm not mistaken but the next time I travel I definitely will pick up the large size in this because it's worth it now when you pump out just one pump does your entire face now it does have a slight white cast when you put it on when you rub it into your skin but it's so velvety you can feel it just like filling in the pores in your face and you can feel your hands just like glide over your skin this is an amazing amazing primer if you do have the cash to spend on this I highly recommend that you invest in this especially if you have very textured skin and it is a problem for you to get um, your foundation looking smooth now I really like this top but it's so annoying it keeps coming up on my neck anyway I've been loving um, two brushes and I also picked up these brushes when I went on vacation too and the first brush that I've been loving this is a Sonia Kashuk brush and it has a beautiful like a sexy shape and this is a blush brush this, this one came in a really nice package and it was kind of expensive for a drugstore brush I believe I paid about $18 for this US in Target but I love it the only other brush that I had for my blush was a real techniques brush and it was sort of really big but I liked it because it was big and it could cover my whole cheek because I'm a big cheek right so I picked up this is like it's kind of small what am I gonna do with this but it fits exactly on the apple of your cheek to put on your blush I freaking love this I freaking love it if you can get this get it amaze balls I've been loving this other brush and this brush can be found in Trinidad in Starlight Pharmacy sells elf as well as I have talked about Vogue Chic by Charlene a number of times I will link her page down below she has random pop-up sales all over Trinidad and Tobago now she just used to do it in uh, the sour area but now she's in Gasparillo and Princess Town and Tobago and Mount Hope she's all over so definitely check her page to find out where she will be next and she sells a ton of the elf brushes the one that I have been loving is the elf small tapered brush she did have this for sale I just never picked it up but it was always on my wish list but I rather picked up makeup by her but if I had known how amazing this brush was I would have picked it up earlier this is a small tapered brush this is what the brush looks like this brush is bomb for highlighting I just dip it in my highlighter and I go oh 
you can kind of see my highlight there and this highlight is in this video because it's amazeballs but this brush highlights like a boss you can even get your nose because usually I'd use a fan brush but I like my highlighter packed on kind of like a lot because I love it so I love it packed on here with that brush I love this brush this is an amazing brush Charlene has these for 45 TT dollars but Starlight Pharmacy has it for 35 so if you can find this brush I highly highly recommend that you pick up this brush for highlighting your face I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush and I freaking love this one over that one and I paid 20 US for that one get you this brush love that then let me speak about the highlighter because we are on highlighter right now now it's dark so you can't see it as intense if I turn maybe you can but I freaking love it I love it I love it I love more gold white highlighters I don't really like bronze highlighters I love them to look white and I love them to look gold and this one is a sort of champagne gold I picked up this recently and I believe I showed it in a haul this is the Inglot sparkling dust powder so I picked this powder up in Starlight Pharmacy I believe I only paid a hundred and twenty TT dollars for this and Inglot's products does not come with names, they come with numbers. So this one is Sparkling Dust 02. So it comes in this box. This is what the packaging looks like. It's a loose Sparkling Dust powder. Love, love, love this. Let me see if I can show you guys the shade and the beauty that this freaking thing is. Oh, it's lovely. It just says Sparkling Dust for face, eyes and body. Now when you open this up, it comes with a powder puff so you can actually like make yourself glow all over but if I were definitely going to like an old year's night party new year's eve party definitely I'd be packing this on I don't do anything really much for old year's Christmas is my time for new year's I probably just like cook a nice meal for dinner and we just go outside and watch who's fireworks we can we can all aim like that but it's fun to me Anyway, this one comes with a little, um, like a little sticker over the, what do you call this? Like the little holes. It's like a, um, like a loose powder, but I keep this on because I'm going to have glitter dust everywhere. So I keep this on and when I want to use it, I just peel back the little sticker. I tap a little bit into the cover. Then I take my brush and I go to town. And that's how I use this and keep it from being so messy. But this highlighter, I have been really, really liking it. It's very nice. And if you definitely want to sparkle, if you're going to Carnival Fets, because we all know Carnival in Trinidad and Tobago is coming up soon. If you want to go to Fets or if you just want to be glittery like a glittery princess, pick you up some of this. So that's 120 Starlight Pharmacy. Then, recently... I have started back using my ColourPop uh, brow pomade. Now, when I do my brows, I usually like a pencil because it's very quick and I can just go do 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 and done. I don't have to stand up and that's freaking precise and this and that. Sometimes nobody ain't got time for that. So, I've recently started um, using this one again. I got this in a swap um, with one of my subscribers. And, oh, uh, this product, I have fallen in love with it all over again. Now, I do not claim to be a brow slayer, a brow queen, or whatever. I do my brows as best as I can. I do have a lot of brows, so I don't have a lot of filling in to do or a lot of drawing in to do. So I kind of just dip an angled, a skinny angled brush into this. And I only dip one time because if you go too heavy handed with this, my shade is Bangin' Brunette. If you do go too heavy handed with this, you're going to look like Morticia Adams and you're going to scare people. So just do one dip into it and the one dip will do an entire eyebrow. I start from the tail and just kind of follow the natural shape of my eyebrow and just make little strokes as I go and 
this I'm really 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 loving this at the moment and I have forgotten how good it is so definitely check out this Colourpop Brow Pomade. I've had this for quite some time and it is nowhere close to drying out, nowhere close to finishing. This is nice. Um, I believe she got mine from Makeup Haven. I bought her one as well and we exchanged this in our swap. And I believe this costs about $65. They have a ton of shades. They have blonde and they have black and they have a lot of shades. Excuse me. So definitely check Rhea from Makeup Haven, Color Pop, and see if you get this. This is really, really nice for filling in your brows, and simple enough for me to use, and I don't really like bow, bow. I don't really like brow pomades that much, but I really like that one. Um, speaking about, uh, about, I'm sorry you guys, I have not filmed in a very long time. Excuse me and my crazy words. Anyway. <laughs> Um, talking about brows, I also really like this City Color Bold Brow Eyebrow Gel. Now, it is a little dark because, you know, when you fill in your brow with that, and then you go ahead and you do your eyebrows with this so that they stay in place. It does get a little brown from the shade that you have put in before. But this City Color Brow Gel, I haven't tried that many um brow gels i have tried jordana and then i do still have new in plastic ruby kisses and nyx to try but for the while out of all of the little cheapy ones that i have tried this one is really nice i picked this up in wonderful will this can be no more probably than 25 dollars i want to say it's 18 dollars i'm not 100 percent sure but the hold on this is quite good for a very inexpensive brow gel, I really, really like this. The hold on it is good. My eyebrows look pretty good, so I don't want to interfere with them right now. It's just a spoolie with some clear brow gel. But the reason why I love it so much is because of the hold. The Jordana Clear brow gel that I was using, it's like nothing. It's like watery and it just... Your brow hairs be blowing by the time you walk out the door. And when I put brow gel on you, I don't want you to be blowing. Stay to hell in place. Bye. Anyway, couple more products and then one dislike. Where is my okay? All right. Um, for my eyeshadow, I have been loving this primer, and I do have quite a number of primers, but I've been really reaching for this one. This one is just the Ruby Kisses Eyeshadow Magic Primer, and I believe they did this to mock. You guys know which one is done. Is it Urban Decay? Yes, it could be Urban Decay. So they did the packaging to kind of mock the Urban Decay packaging. And it comes with an applicator. It's a flesh-toned um, primer. And it's very thin in consistency. But what I like about this, I use my fingers to blend it out. But the more you blend it and you go back and forth, back and forth on your eye, this actually turns to like a powder so it doesn't stay wet. Now I want to know, some of you that use eyeshadow primer and it stays wet on your eye, do you just go ahead and start to put shadow on top of that? Because to me it's like it's going to stick your shadow and you're not going to be able to blend properly. But what I appreciate about this one is it kind of turns to a powder finish. So with this one now, you see it's already like a powder and it's gone. So what I really like about this is you can go ahead and start to blend right away with this one. And I really like it. I picked this up, uh, Wonderful World, and I believe I paid like about $50 for it. It comes in a nice little package, and you can definitely ask them if they have this, but I really recommend this. It is $50, but I've had this for a very long time, and I don't think this is anywhere close to finishing. I really, really like this. Now, for days where I am using another eyeshadow primer and it's a little more wet, I always, always set it. I see some um, other YouTubers setting it with a translucent powder. I don't do, do that because I have so many little single eyeshadows and I try to use as much as my makeup of my makeup as I can on a regular basis. I have this little Wet n Wild color icon um single shadow and this is in the color creme brulee i believe i picked this up from the dollar store in the states when i went and it's just a little 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 tiny little eyeshadow but i love love using this to set my 
uh, eyeshadow primers before I go ahead and blend all of my makeup, all of my eyeshadow together. I really, really like using this. This is a little, a dollar. I know that um, Starlight Pharmacy sells some wet and wild products, so you can probably check there. It could be no more than $20. TT, but I paid a dollar US for this. But it's a really, really nice, quick little shadow to just pull and just set your eyeshadow primer before you go ahead to lay down your shadows and start blending. I really, really like this. This is handy for me. I love it. Um, the last two, pro um, the last product, makeup product that I have been loving is this City Color Lip Gloss with Argan Oil. I'm not wearing it today because I just felt like I needed some very bright pink to go with my top and my eyes. But I reach for this almost every day. Anytime I'm wearing even matte liquid lipsticks now i always reach to put this on um i have a ton of matte liquid lipsticks and sometimes i get kind of tired of wearing those sorry let me be fixing myself right i get kind of tired of wearing those all the time so i always will top it with a, top it with a nice gloss and this is just a nice nudie gloss I really like it. There's a little shimmer in it. I picked this up in Wonderful World for $15. So this is a really nice um, lip gloss topper on top of nude lipsticks. Even brighter lipsticks. If if they are matte and I just want to give it a little bit of shine, I always put this on top. I really like this. Right? So those are all of the uh, makeup products that I have been loving. Let me show you guys my little... Um, snack favorite that i have been loving i just picked up another one today this is the haribo frogs gummy candy so i picked this up in starlight pharmacy i think i paid about 15 dollars for this they have a ton of different ones my daughter really likes the little cherry ones but i don't really like cherry that much and i picked this up because i know the white part of the frog is gonna taste so good so i picked this up a few times and i really like it to so just snack on just a few little gummies but somehow i feel this gives me chest burn like heart burn so i can't overdo it i could probably have two or three pieces but any more than that i'm going to be uh, burning on the inside so if you do have that issue i may stay away from that but just don't over go overboard but i really like this as a quick little just a little in between a snack then so i'm doing something new in this video um, I put in two products that I dislike from my collection. So, it's not really a makeup product to put on your face, but it's something you use. So, anyway, I picked this glue up, I believe maybe from Pennywise. This is the color eyelash adhesive and it's in clear. And this is the first eyelash adhesive that I ever picked up with a little brush. And it's really nice because you could go ahead and paint the freaking, um, the band of your lash so you could get it precise on the outer and inner corner so that the lash really sticks on. However, this smells like death to your eye. You don't want to put something smelling like this by your eye. It smells so strongly of chemicals and it smells like it could just make you blind. So that's one. And then the other thing is when you pop your lash on, initially it stays. But after a while, the inner and outer corners of your lash begin to pop up. This is not is not very strong. I don't know if the glue is too watery or what. It's just not good. And I refuse to use it. It just smells too strong. It smells very, very strong. Like it could literally make you blind if you put this in close to your eye. And then the other thing is it just does not stick the lash down. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Stick something to something if it would work. But I hate that. And then I also bought this in Pennywise. Now, you know when you buy your favorite cotton round in Pennywise, the next time you go back, you may not find it, right? So, you know, you always have to be picking up this and picking up that because they always don't have what you're specifically looking for. There's a brand that I really like, but, you know, at that point in time, I couldn't find it. So, I picked up this one. This one is a royal quality round. So, you get 80 parts and it, in the back it says natural cotton. Now, so ironic for this thing to name Royal because it's like Royal Toots. It's awful. By the time you put your, um, I use these small little ones to 
remove my eye makeup from the time you put your just two little things of two little dashes of of eye makeup remover first of all it's soaked to death it's not even that much product that i'm putting in it's soaked to death and then all of this little fuzzy shit here you see it excuse my language all of this little fuzzy crap here remains on my eye i feel like i'm blind I feel like i can't see i feel like there's a coating on my eye so this crappy brand here don't ever pick it up from pennywise it sucks regardless of how cheap or expensive it is do not buy the royal quality rounds it's royal crap don't buy it anyway that is my video for you guys i hope you enjoyed i hope you try out some of the favorites i hope you avoid some of the dislikes and definitely try you some gummy curls really nice anyway guys it's great to be back i'm trying i'm going to try to be very consistent with uploading my videos um i'm praying and hoping nothing else happens nothing else oh i want to go, in, go into 2017 great safe my family is good y'all are good everything is good i want to go into 2017 being a very consistent local youtuber for all of my peoples i appreciate each and every one of you so much thank you for sticking by to all of my new subscribers welcome please subscribe i will be trying to be extremely consistent maybe every three to four days with a video for you guys if i can do them uh more often i definitely will so thank you so much for watching i love all of you please stay tuned for more give me a like and i'll see you guys next time bye